Welcome back, viewers. What happens to your body when you lose weight? As you start to lose weight, your body isn't just eliminating fat stores. There's a lot happening behind the scenes as the number on the scale starts to drop, and you can expect to notice a lot of different sensations, especially if you're losing weight at a rapid pace. But even if you're losing weight at a steady, healthy pace, usually around 1 to 2 pounds per week, you'll notice some side effects. In this video, we will talk about what happens to your body when you lose weight. Continue watching to learn more. Where does body fat go when you lose weight? What happens to body fat when you shed pounds? Do you sweat it out, pee it out, or breathe it out? The answer is yes, yes, and yes. How on earth does this happen? It helps to understand that our bodies are designed to store excess energy in fat cells. If you're carrying extra pounds, it means you're taking in more energy. Calories are units of energy. Then you're using. The extra energy is stored in adipose tissue all around your body in the form of triglycerides. Smaller amounts of energy are stored in your liver and muscles as glycogen. How does your body use energy? In more ways than you'd think. Number one, when you're resting. Your heart needs the energy to pump, your lungs to breathe, and your brain to think. That's your basal metabolism. Number two, when you're active. Your muscles need energy whether you're only getting up from a chair or running a marathon. Number three, when you're eating. Your digestive system needs the energy to break down and store food. What happens to body fat when you go on a diet? When you go on a diet, you take in fewer calories than your body needs. Because of this deficit, your body turns to fat reserves for energy. Your body must dispose of fat deposits through a series of complicated metabolic pathways. The byproducts of fat metabolism leave your body, number one, as water through your skin when you sweat and your kidneys when you urinate. Number two, like carbon dioxide through your lungs when you breathe out. Meanwhile, fat breakdown liberates energy for biological functions and physical activity. It also generates heat, which keeps body temperatures normal. What happens to body fat when you exercise? Your muscles first burn through stored glycogen for energy. After about 30 to 60 minutes of aerobic exercise, your body starts burning mainly fat. Experts recommend at least 30 minutes of cardio two to three times a week. They also recommend weightlifting and resistance training. Increasing muscle mass may help you burn more calories and raise your basal metabolic rate. Exercise also increases your respiratory rate, so more CO2 leaves your body when you work out. What happens to your body when you lose weight? Number 1. Loose Skin Sadly, melting flab doesn't automatically come with tight, taut abs. If you lose a lot of weight, you may end up with sagging folds of excess skin. So why doesn't your skin snap right back? Skin stretches over time to accommodate extra body mass. When the fat is gone, your skin may not have enough elasticity to shrink back down to your current body shape. The amount of loose skin you wind up with depends on how old you are, how quickly you drop the weight, and how often you've lost and gained weight in the past. If you have just a little sagging, build muscle to make your skin look tauter. That might mean increasing your protein each day and or working in more lifting into your current workout plan. Number 2. Stomach Pain Some people who lose weight fast develop gallstones, hard lumps that form in your gallbladder. If you cut down on fat in your diet, your gallbladder doesn't contract as frequently, allowing bile to become concentrated in the organ, which leads to the formation of stones, she explains. Include fat in your daily diet to keep your gallbladder functioning properly. Fat is often viewed as a dietary demon. But studies show that the nutrient doesn't directly inflate your belly, too many calories do. Fat may also make your meals more enjoyable, as long as you keep portions in check. See your doctor if you're experiencing gallstone symptoms like intense stomach pain, nausea, and fever. Number 3. Muscle Loss When you lose fat by changing what you eat, two-thirds of the weight you lose is fat and about one-third is muscle. Not only can that leave your skin a little loose, but a lot of calorie-burning muscle doesn't help you keep going in your weight loss efforts as quickly. If you maintain a good protein intake and do strength exercises as you lose weight, you can shift that ratio a bit so there's less muscle loss. If you've been doing cardio exclusively, make an effort to increase the amount of strength training you do. What's a good protein intake? You don't have to go crazy on it, just aim for about 30 grams at every meal. 
Most people load up on protein at dinner and have very little for breakfast. Try spreading it out a bit by serving up something like eggs for breakfast, 21 grams of protein for three, or maybe even leftovers from last night's dinner. Just be aware that yogurt isn't a protein mother load. It only has about nine grams per cup, but that's still better than what you'd get in toast, usually barely three grams. Protein can also be an extra weapon in helping you continue to lose weight. Before we continue, a like would be great. Number four, the dreaded plateau. Maybe you've lost 10 pounds and it was easy, and then you lost another 10 pounds. That too was easier than you thought. But then you stall and those next 10 pounds are more stubborn than that cauliflower rice that sticks to the bottom of the pot. People call this fat loss flatline the plateau, but it's also common and not as difficult to overcome as you might think. And it may be your body's way of signaling to you that it's time to mix things up. Change up your gym routine. It can be easy to fall into an exercise A, exercise B, exercise C regimen, especially if it's worked for you in the early stages of your weight loss. Don't abandon these exercises altogether. Instead, add a few new moves during the tail end of your usual workout to throw your body a change up. Number five, fewer allergies. Being overweight can sometimes put a strain on the adrenal glands and respiratory system, exacerbating asthma and allergy symptoms. Now that you're trimmer, you may be able to ditch your inhaler and cut back on the seasonal pill popping. Don't change your medication routine without speaking with your doctor first. Number six, clearer skin. Your weight loss journey provides another additional bonus. You not only feel healthy, but also look healthy. Some people who've decided to lead a healthier lifestyle and lose their extra weight have noticed tremendous changes in their appearance. Their skin cleared up and stopped peeling. Their hair became thicker and their nails became stronger. Number seven, smaller feet. When you shed extra weight, you lose fat from your entire body, and this includes your feet as well. So don't panic when your favorite shoe starts slipping off your feet. Instead, be happy that it's now easier for you to zip up your boots around your thin calves. And don't forget to resize your rings. Your fingers will get slimmer too. Number eight, fewer headaches. Although obesity doesn't trigger headaches directly, it raises the risk of having a migraine by 50%. The current theory supported by health experts suggests that fat cells increase the amount of inflammation in your body. In certain situations, this inflammation can cause migraines. That's why losing extra weight may reduce the severity and quantity of your headaches. Number nine, sensitive to temperature changes. As you lose pounds, you lose the insulating fat that blankets your body and keeps it warm. Without this extra layer, your body becomes more sensitive to changes in temperature, especially in cold weather. Another reason why you start feeling chilly is that your metabolic rate slows down. Your body is trying to conserve as much energy as possible because it doesn't have a lot of extra calories anymore. So be prepared that sweaters and cardigans will become your new best friends. Number 10, more energized. The first thing you experience after shedding some extra pounds is a big energy boost. The reason is pretty simple. The less weight you're carrying around, the more energy you save for doing other important things. Besides that, weight loss improves oxygen efficiency so you won't find yourself out of breath anymore when climbing stairs or trying to catch the bus. Losing weight is good for you, especially if you do it right. Did you learn a lot in this video? Let us know by leaving a comment below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. For more interesting facts on the human body, subscribe to the channel. Here are two more videos you should check out. Both of them will definitely help you reach your goals.